Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Critics Cut. My name is Jacob and today I have a, a massive Lego Black Panther collection set review for you. Uh, we are looking at every single Lego Black Panther base set Lego have released. We won't be looking at all the side builds included with each set, we're just make, focusing on the Wakanda aspect of each set and the minifig associated minifigures with those sets. So, like um, Black Panther, Shuri, etc. We will be having a whole separate video with just the minifigures, as this video will be way too long as it is, but I thought I'd just show you what all the minifigures look like here, and I'll kind of mention some of them in passing as we go through it. But yeah, make sure you like and subscribe for that video with all the minifigures, that will be my next video. Here we have all the location bases for Wakanda that we have gotten, too much of it compared to the vehicles of course. We've got this little minecart here, which is from the first Black Panther Wave in 2018, came in an 18-pound set. Get this little bit of track, and the play feature is you're meant to flick it off the track so it's a little bit of the caves that we see at the climax of the film from the set you see in front of you this is from the 2018 rave it's not really wakanda based but it's like part of the landscape i guess it's a very ugly build um, but it's meant to represent the giant buzzsaw which the outrider use for the to attack wakanda and you're meant to push this button and it shoots out this giant spinny blade we've got the little weapons rack there from the junior set i've just done a review on that Taking a closer look at the tower, you can see you've got some stud shooters here. You've got this door which doesn't lock for some reason. Here you can expand it as well. You've got a little disc shooter which you fire from the back. And here is meant to be a play feature which you'll see on the inside. Spinning it around the back. You can see we've got a little bit of studs here to post figures but they will get caught by the mechanism. You've got a lot of platform up here and platforms here. Um, the side of it, you can see some of the texturing on either side. So they did a little bit of work to cover the uh, affinity stone is supposed to be on that gold piece there. But this is the actuator for disc launcher. You've got some stickers here, which is used and you have recondent writing throughout. This is what flicks up when you shoot the play feature. It's meant to shoot vision out. I did a review on this. Comes with the one printed piece because it is a junior set. Nothing too special. Here we have the large um, submarine vessel from Wakanda Forever. As I already gave my thoughts and opinions on the set, it's not a great set for eighty pound. And it's the largest Black Panther set they've done apart from the bust, which they just came out with for three hundred pounds. Which no thank you, don't want to spend three hundred pounds on something like that. Um, but yeah. This is technically the largest minifigure based set for Black Panther and it's just not that great, it doesn't live up to the hype, the minifigures are the best part, i go into a detail which I just did a review on. Here is the Dragonfly which was included in the Affinity Saga wave from last year, uh, some mini ball joints and all the wings are fully poseable, comes with some stud shooters. And looking at the underside, you've got the same blade pieces they use on the mini scale vehicle here. I don't know if it's meant to be a downscaled version of this or if it's meant to be a drone. I'm going to go with the first option and say this is meant to be just a downscale version and the submarine itself is just way out of scale and you're meant to park these onto there because it doesn't really make sense why they would have little drones of these things. I can't see why they would need that. We have the animal portion. So... This, and I thought also include this because I forgot to include it, but it's a little stand that the Black Panther suit sits on on the 4 Plus set. Forgot to include that. But these animals are technically from Lego City Jungle theme. I think these are great add-ons for the Black Panther way. So this leopard skin one reminds me of Killmonger. And then an actual Black Panther. Um, these are very probably hard to get. It would be great if we could get these again in future Black Panther sets, but I thought I'd just include them here because if you guys do own these, these do go very well with the minifigures. Here's the Rhino build, which is from the £18 mining set. Very cool build. It's actually not mechanical. It is just body armor. You can pose the head up and down. Got some stud shoes. Tons of sticker details throughout. You can have a minifigure ride the top of it. Um, it's a very cool build. I do like these uh, larger leg pieces, but it would be cool to get an actual rhinoceros in Lego form. But I guess this is the closest we're going to get outside of Chima and other themes. But yeah, just thought I'd show this set. So here's a set not many people probably remember, but this is from the Captain America Civil War film. Uh, it's Black Panther's jet. It, I don't know how accurate it is. We never get a really good look at it in the film, and I don't believe it pops up in Black Panther 2018. You have to correct me in the comments on that. It does have some nice sticker detailing. This set is very old now. Uh, you can see the cockpit area has like, got better seat detailing than the Dragonfly and other sets from Black Panther, where they actually tile it off so the minifigures don't get stuck. Got a little fire extinguisher in there, of course, a staple of Lego superheroes. 
Um, it's got some stud shooters on the underside. But yeah, I just thought I'd include this one because it is technically Wakandan based. Here's another comparison I thought we'd do. So this is Shuri Sunbird from the latest wave. I've done a full video on this already, so I'm not going to go too in depth. This retails for £45. This originally retailed for 30 or £35, depending on where you bought it. I've never been a big lover of this set. Um, it's set on the left. I forget the name of it. I think it's the Royal Talon Fighter, it's called. It looks like a giant Black Panther head. Um, it's a cool build, don't get me wrong, but... It's just not that interesting or great to me. You can just about see in there. You can't really fit a second minifigure in now, unfortunately, even though the cockpit is wide enough. You can open this compartment up. And just like the submarine, it's got like a little prison cell, which is very weak. Uh, I guess you could pose a minifigure on these two studs. I think that's what you were supposed to do and have um, Black Panther jump out the top, even though he falls through the bottom in the film. Uh, but yeah, I find that ironic that the newest set and one of the older sets have the exact same interior space essentially uh you can see the underside of it there it's very well built up got some stud shooters like all these sets Sunbird is pretty good but the main thing i have a problem with is for 45 pounds it's very good it's very bulky but it's just the main interior cockpit area as you can probably tell i'm a person that likes interiors on my vehicles even though you don't really display them with the interiors open. It's a very cool build though. I recommend it, £45. Comes with two exclusive minifigures though. Very good set. Last vehicle before I forget is the mini submarine set included in King Namor's front. I nearly forgot about this one to be honest. But yeah, uh, you've got two stud shooters. I did a full review on this already. Very cool little build. And that's going to do it, guys, for this comparison video of all the Black Panther sets. Hope you guys did enjoy. Remember to leave a like on the video if you did. Stay tuned for part two of this video where we'll be taking a closer look at all the minifigures from the Black Panther sets over the years. Uh, yeah, uh, this was a fun video to make. I really enjoyed comparing some of these sets and just seeing them all together in one place is very cool. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for more great content like this in the very near future. Bye for now.